I'm Lauren Maloney. Thanks for joining us on What Matters This Week. Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger is here for the first time in 2020. appreciate you being here. That's right. Happy New Year, Lauren. It's Happy good to New be, Year to you. It's good to be with you. Good to be here. Thanks. Okay, let's, um, before we start talking about some of the other things that are going on now and possibly looking ahead, town meeting day, etc., um, let's talk about the issue when it came to now former police chief Brandon Del Pozo. Um, the punishment, so to speak, came out this week on Jan Wright. Um, an eight-day suspension, and there's some training that she'll have to undergo as well. Is she already back at work? She is back at work on restricted duty until she completes, um, yes, the training. And it's also, importantly, she um, is committed to going through some kind of restorative justice process with people who she um, hurt with, uh, with her actions, um, which is, you know, something Burlington's long been committed to, and, and, uh, and she's committed to uh, using that process to try to restore things. Is that sort of training, will that extend to maybe new employees or other members of the force at some point? Um, well, you know, Chief, Chief Morrison is the one that has designed this discipline and, and is maybe the best one to speak to some of the details of exactly what, what is going to be involved in the training. Um, uh, I, uh, my, my understanding is the chief wants to make sure she um, yes, is sort of fully up to speed on the expectations that uh, she has for, for officers. I do think increasingly there is some focus on that um, for new recruits. Uh, I would say in addition to the, the training, the city, you know, in part, it's something we've been working towards for some time, but um, since uh, the troubles that we had with this at the end of December, we have, there's now a, by my direction, a social media policy in place um, citywide. Eventually, we, we've asked the city council to vet this and approve it, but um, uh, in, until that time, there's guidance to all city employees from me. There's further guidance that's going to be coming out shortly specifically regarding these um, anonymous uh, uh, social media accounts, which of course have played uh, you know, an unfortunate role in, in these incidents. Um, that was not initially part of the city's social media policy. We're, adding, we're going to be adding that shortly. So. Um, I do think uh, in the months and certainly years ahead, there's going to be considerable additional guidance for all city employees about what the city's expectations are with respect to the use of social media, um, uh, yeah, you know, certainly as they, they conduct their, their city duties. As some people may question, how did two authorities sort of troll others mm -hmm. anonymously, so to speak? Is, is this a situation where Deputy Chief Wright knew what the chief was doing, therefore thought it was okay? Well, it is clear now that this investigation has been completed, that she, um, going all the way back to July when um, Chief Del Pozo, you know, the, the kind of fateful hour when he was, um, he made this, I think it was eight problematic tweets, um, uh, right around that time, Chief Wright became uh, aware of what had happened and actually encouraged Chief Del Pozo to um, come forward to me and explain what had happened. Um, somehow, and this is a little bit, you know, you, you can see in the report that was issued, this has been a little bit challenging for us to grapple with, but it appears that Chief Wright um, absolutely was aware of what Chief Del Pozo had done and encouraged him to come speak to me and yet um, did not uh, equate uh, what she had done and continued to do actually for some time as being as, to uh, that level? A, as being problematic. Um, it, you know, it's kind of hard to, I think, assess what is on level with what exactly. We, we have issued this report so the public can see for itself. We've tried to be very um, complete and we, we have basically put out there in the public all of the social media posts that we are aware of. Um, that came out of this investigation. There are basically 10 problematic posts that uh, Deputy Chief Wright made that um, people can assess for themselves. We've, we've made that all public. Um, did other somewhat... officers <clears throat> know then as well? If she knew, did, did others know? <clears throat> um, uh, to be clear, if I'm understanding your question, so uh, I, I do under believe that Deputy Chief Murad was also um, aware uh, of Chief Del Pozo's um, mistake and and uh, and the um, you know 
and him going on leave, the three chiefs were fully aware of, of kind of what was going on with Chief Del Pozo. If your question is, is there, um, I, I think, and I think maybe what you're driving at is that, Is there a you larger know, problem, perhaps, <clears throat> that right. some people knew what was going on, and yet Chief Del Pozo did not tell the truth to the reporter okay. initially? Um, the, um, what we have comprehensively investigated now in response to the, you know, really problematic situation with Chief Wright is what mistakes did, you know, what, what did Chief Wright do? And we I have a complete accounting of that now. Um, we also, um, as committed way, you know, back when this happened, uh, are, we have engaged a social media expert to take a broader look at what kind of social media practices are, are happening at the, at the police department, what kind of cultural changes, organizational changes need to be done to ensure that we have um, uh, the use of social media happening at the police department that is consistent with our values and our practices going forward. That work is, is ongoing. I'm not, um, it, I, I don't, um, uh, there's no, I have no additional information beyond what's been shared in the, in the report about kind of knowledge between officers about what was going on. When you step back and think mm -hmm. about the different steps of the last yep. six months, do you think there was anything differently that you could have done along the way? So this has been a, a really one of the most challenging situations that I've, I've had to deal with as mayor. Um, I, um, I think it's very sad uh, what has happened here. Um, chief Del Pozo was, uh, in many ways, I think, an outstanding police chief and did uh, the city's better for mm -hmm. his service. Um, uh, in, in many ways, uh, we have uh, the the opioid response that we've galvanized uh, happened in large part because of uh, his leadership and, and his work. The changes that we've made with respect to how we respond to acute mental health. Uh, issues, the changes that we've made more broadly in terms of our use of force practices and policies, the uh, emerging response vehicle um, that gives us a whole different capacity for responding to in non-lethal ways uh, to people experiencing a variety of emergency uh, situations. Uh, all that and more came out of the, the chief's um, tenure here and it is really sad that, uh, that the way his time with us ended uh, is um, you know, is, is, is in what happened at the end of December there. Um, I, so of course, um, you know, looking back on it, I, if there was a different outcome here, um, uh, I've, I've asked, certainly asked that myself that question. I guess what I hope uh, Burlingtonians see is that um, as soon as I became aware of the situation, I took very immediate um, actions to get to the bottom of it, launch it, you know, the next day, next morning, after learning uh, what Chief Del Pozo had done, I put him on administrative leave. We had started investigating it um, right away. Uh, the um, uh, city's employment professionals were involved from that morning, the city attorney and the HR director, and they were advising me throughout. And um, I was guided by uh, a, <coughs> series of, uh, you know, I was guided by them and their advice. I was guided by uh, 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 awareness that the chief had gone uh, through, uh, uh, you know, had experienced a traumatic brain injury within the last year. There was a lot that went into the decisions that I made. I, people will have to assess for themselves if they think I should have done something differently. I know I tried to approach it with integrity and with um, the city's interests in mind at each step of the way. And, um, um, you know, I, I did my best throughout. When we come back, the mayor talks about the search process for a new chief and what he's expecting when a special police committee submits its recommendations soon. Stay with us.